This episode of On Stage is brought to you in part by LGL Let's Get Loud, Saturday, March 30 at Folly Oval in Portland. For tickets and info, visit their Instagram page or stay tuned to On Stage TV's socials. Scott's lead attorney, Isaac Buchanan, comes to chat landmark Privy Council win. But what will he tell us about his next move in the world boss's legal saga? International dancehall recording star Lady Patra brings new project. The American-Jamaican partnership that seeks to create a new Jamaican music genre. Wow. Also take you inside a high energy party in Jamaica you probably never heard of. All coming up right here on our stage. Welcome to the show everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be back. On stage with Winford Williams. And we're back, and where we take you inside a high energy party in Jamaica, you probably never heard of. It's promoter, believe it or not. Rio Montego Bay. An all-inclusive resort, its management characterized as much more than a hotel. That it is a unique property in an exquisite location in Jamaica's second city. that you get the chance to experience what we call the real party concept. It happens in Jamaica every other Friday at Rio Montego Bay. And all the clients that stay at Rio Palace Jamaica and at Rio Reggae, they are invited to this party. We have two different themes, a all white night and all neon night, they alternate. <laughs> And between 8.30 and 9 o'clock, we usually have between 2,000 to 2,500 guests that come down to Rio Montego Bay to enjoy this unique phenomenon that we have come to call the Rio Party. Where are they coming from? All over the world? Yes, they actually come from all over. We have clients from out of the US, out of the UK, Canada. Our local market is also very prominent. So we can find clients from all over, all through the week, but especially during the weekends when we are having this party. What inspired it, the party? Well, Rio, one of the pillars that Rio stands on is entertainment. It is one of the reasons why so many people gravitate towards our brand. And Rio is always trying to innovate and find new ways of attracting clients. The Rio party came as a concept. Our CEO, Luis Rio, actually one of his hobbies is to DJ. <laughs> So when they proposed this idea to him, it was very well accepted. He supported fully and there has been, we have it in other destinations and he had actually done some of the DJs at the party. It is an amazing production that we put together and it's just to enhance the client's experience when they come to Jamaica and another reason of why they choose Rio. And how long has it been running? We started July of last year and it has been extremely successful. Rio 
party is a unique environment what we uh, created for our real customers. Not just with the best uh, DJs and performers, also with some special effects, what we will see tonight, like skill walkers, LED robot. Um, and like Nyoka already mentioned, we make two different kind of parties. Real party is the main word for two different concepts. Tonight we experience the real get-together party, what you find over specific on destination. We are more hotels that every real customer can join, the big real get-together party. And then we have also the second concept, what calls real pool party. What we have, for example, in Mexico and also in the Dominican Republic, where we have a special area in the hotel, what open just for that real pool party with foam machine, with also acrobats, with everything. And the music genres that are played? Um, in the white uh, party, what we have next Friday, also every Friday we have the real get-together party. Tonight we have the neon party, will dominate the modern music. And on the white party we have a retro mix from the 70s, 80s, 90s and hits. Dancehall, we play every touch of music international that every kind of customer what is present on the party can enjoy at the maximum, of course. Okay, Mike, thank you so much. I thank you. All the best, I'll let you go to do what you do best. And thanks, right thanks, much. You to capture thanks much. Thanks much. gets loud with the first installment of a new stage show series built around dancehall artist A.I. Millie. You? Dubbed LGL, Let's Get Loud and hosted by Kamala Latouche. The rest of the lineup includes names like Valiant, Chanel Muir, Roger Wilde and Pablo YG. Right now, right here on our stage, the events promoter and manager for AI Millie, Prakash Ramsey, to tell us more about the event. Prakash, sir. Blessed love. Welcome. Pleasure, pleasure. Yes, sir. Good to have you, sir. Good to have you back on our stage. How has the career been going since? It's all going good, man. No? Since the last time? Yeah, the beer things are good. Ascension? Yeah, it's all good, man. All right, good to know, sir. So, Mr. Promoter, sir, jump in and speak to this, the, the inspiration behind this. Well, you know, born in Jamaica and leave at an early age, coming to Jamaica back, mm -hmm. seeing that Jamaica has a lot of potential and, um, you know, music is what defies Jamaica. Yes. And the love of music, mm -hmm. you know, and my country brought me back here. Mm -hmm. So with the series of events that we're planning, it's around Jamaica, the Caribbean, bringing it to the States and across the world. Okay. That is our goal. You know, working with artists like A.I. Millie, who's influential to younger minds, mm -hmm. who has the potential to, you know, enhance mm -hmm. the younger minds mm -hmm. for great things. So why Por Portland to, to kick off? Because why not? <laughs> it's a place that is not highlighted. Mm -hmm. I want to show the world that just because it's not highlighted, that doesn't mean it doesn't have potential ah. for growth. Okay. Great answer, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so AI, and so this is around you, yeah. um, and, and it means that you will be, you'll be getting a lot of exposure. You'll be traveling a lot. That's a tour, okay. kind of. On the road. And uh, yes, so, <laughs> so what does this mean for you? I mean, all it, man, you know, travel to new places, put enough prayer, get my voice out there to enough other places, said we, that I will be no answer. Mm -hmm. It's a good look. So the, um, these markets, all of them, you're relevant in all of these markets that they'll be going. Yeah. So have you been to any of them yet? Any not, of these places? Not as yet. We get, we get offered for go, but we go and just come see, but that's all okay. time, man. Oh, that's, that's, that's good for you. You're, being, you're getting a special event to take you in. Yeah. 
yeah, where there is more control on both sides in terms of your management and in terms of the, the, the production itself. It's controlled by your manager. So you're lucky because sometimes new artists, they go out in, in the world and they're on their own mm. technically. They're, yeah. they're booked and they're pretty much, you know, you don't know what to expect. You don't have control you like that. Know, you don't know how certain things are turning out and anything there. And you're, yes, you're a new yeah. artist. So is that the strategy, sir? The strategy is to show the world, to show young people that there's a way out. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't have to lead to violence or anything else, but to express yourself within your mind, your, your, your music, mm -hmm. you know. We can still focus on brighter things, you know. We, that's the whole point of these series. Mm -hmm. Having an artist like A.I. Millie who has a lot of young people, I see that he's influencing. Absolutely. His name is all over the, Correct. the, the new age dance hall space. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's good that he, he's, he's a, he has good management around him. That's our goal. Yeah, and, so, and you built... That's smart, though. I, I think it's unique, really, yeah. in our space. It's thinking outside the, the box. you're doing it. <laughs> you have to think outside the box. You know, you have to... Sometimes you have to force, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. the listeners or the world to see what you have to offer. Ah. You know, and that's a way of doing it because mm -hmm. it's a strong message. You know, you have to put it out there. Mm -hmm. If you don't do it, then how is it going to reach? Mm -hmm. so, so name the markets again. So, you know, at LGL, let's get loud. Mm -hmm. You know, we're starting off in Portland. We have places on, you know, like West Milan. We have St. Elizabeth, which all these places. We have the Bahamas in the making. We have, you know, Miami, New York, Atlanta. Mm -hmm. looking into Toronto, hopefully across the seas to Europe. So, you know, we just have to just highlight home first. Mm -hmm. Our backyard as a Caribbean. The dancer yard we, before yes. a dancer we had, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but, but explain the name for us, the LGL. The LGL. Let's get loud. Yeah, let's get loud. So, <laughs> it's, to, it's an expression, mm -hmm. you know. Don't keep it inside. Let's get loud mm -hmm. with our expression. You know, don't keep it bottled in. Mm -hmm. Express yourself. Let's get loud with positivity. Mm -hmm. You know, let's grow. Mm -hmm. Let's show the world. You know, the, Im the whole image is to bring in the younger minds and hopefully to influence them to positive. Oh. And that's the whole idea. Let's get loud. So you will be positive. Positive, that's the goal. But you're spitting AI will, <laughs> will be positive. Positive. That's, that's the Did goal. You? Okay, that's yes. good. Um, and so, okay, so how do we, what the access cost and so on, the admission cost to, well, to patrons? It, you know, we keep the prices down, you know, thinking about the people within the, the you know, the local vicinity as far as cost. Mm -hmm. So we've been doing, like, the admission, we had the $2,500 um, early bird, especially geared towards, like, college students and stuff like that, mm -hmm. more affordable. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we kept the prices as low as possible. And then entry fee, I mean, 6,000 VIP, 4,500 at the gate. Mm -hmm. so, well, part of the proceeds of mm -hmm. the event actually goes towards education. So say, for instance, a school that is really in need. Okay. We would like to help towards education as far as um, a lab, as far as a computer lab or some science lab or something towards education, not sports, education. You know, so that's our goal. So say, for instance, we keep the event in Portland, that special school would be in Portland. We find a school that's within, you know, the needs of the help, and we donate a part of the proceeds towards seeing through that event, that school gets that facility or something done. If we keep it in, say, for instance, West Milan, we find a school within that area, and then we give back. Ah. All right, so that sounds good, my friend. Congrats on that, too. And, and hence, that's why we support it. We support, and state supports this event, and so should you. The date again, remind them of the March date again. 30th. March 30th. March 30th, yes. yes. And on stage is now forced to be there. <laughs> okay. Part of the message. Yes, I, we need to be there to, yeah. make, to bring back the story for, for those yeah, who can't is, make it. Yeah. Bring all the positivity. Yes, yeah. the positivity. The yeah, yes, sir. That, that's the goal. Ah, you know. well, bless you. Thank Thanks you. for coming, sir, Thank and you. sharing with us. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us. All right. All right. Yeah. Too much. Blessed love, my friend.
All the very best with this special tour that you'll be going on. Yeah. You're very lucky. Yeah, yeah. Yes, man. Not, not many like you at your stage get this. You're, you're a lucky man. Up next. This episode of On Stage is brought to you in part by LGL Let's Get Loud. Saturday, March 30 at Folly Oval in Portland. For tickets and info, visit their Instagram page or stay tuned to On Stage TV's socials. On stage with Winford Williams. How ready is Jamaica for a new genre of music? There is a new American-Jamaican partnership that seeks to create a new Jamaican music genre, believe it or not. The partners are Freddie Brown, a mainstream U.S. producer, and Jamaican Zachary Hardin, executive producer. Right now on our stage, <laughs> Freddie Brown. Sir, Freddie, sir. Sir, bro. Nice to see you. Good to meet you, sir. Good to see you. Welcome to Jamaica. Yeah, I love it here. You know, this is my home away from home for sure. Yes, you, you were telling me about a lot of trips to. Yeah, this is the, the sixth time, six time in two years. So, yeah. Yeah. I love it. Okay, so, so right. So, what inspired this idea that is now almost reality. Yeah, it happened really fast. Uh, I was in New York after I left Jamaica my last trip, and I just wrote like 40, 50 just banging new tracks of this new sound that I came up with. It just felt so good. Everyone was as good as the next, and I sent them down to my manager, and uh, he said, uh, let's put Jamaican artists on them. And I said, let me think about that, because he says it's never been done. I, that's, that's stuck in my head. That's Zachary. Zachary Harding. I should mention that Zachary is also your manager. He is. OK. And he's the executive producer, as you said, and uh, of the record. And, uh, and he said it. And I said, let me think about that for a minute. It didn't take me long, maybe a day. And I said, well, let's, we're going to call it J House. And the reason I came up with J House is that I, I was thinking about K-pop. Mm -hmm. And K-pop is the most successful genre in the New world genre, by yeah. far, you know, as a result of BTS and those dance crews, you know, which actually really started in Japan with J-pop. Mm -hmm. And then they kind of, I think that's because I spent a lot of time in Japan. But anyway, um, I, you know, I, it just it made sense. It sounded great. And then I came here Wednesday and went into the studio with some of the biggest Jamaican dance hall artists around thanks to Zach and we had the most amazing sessions and recorded uh, seven eight tracks I believe uh, and we're gonna do some more tomorrow night too so <laughs> moving fast just gonna... the, in, in just these few days you've yeah. done all of this yeah it's really important is because uh, I go to Apple Music that's a source for me as a DJ where I'll go often and look for new tracks that I want to play in my sets and yes. and when you browse the genre by genre, there's only two choices for dance music. There's, a, there's dance mm -hmm. and there's electronic, and that's mm -hmm. it. And you have to go in and look around, which I do, because you'll find gems like that, but there's, there's no, nothing else. So it's screaming for a need for another genre. Mm -hmm. And I, this, is, this is it. And you know, there's kids in Europe and DJs and other parts of the world, wherever, and they're going to hear about this sound, and they're going to find out that they can come down here and work with these Jamaican artists and have them voice on their tracks if the tracks are dope. And, mm -hmm. and I'm show them how to do it, because we're doing it. So, so what, what do you sample from what exists now, from dancehall and, and, you mean and one it, drop traditional reggae? You mean on the, on the records, what on I sample? On the new records, yes. Well, I'm going to LA uh, Thursday to produce out the tracks at the record plant, which is where I, I do all my work. And I'll overdub you know, synthesizers. And mm -hmm. I play all the instruments. I write all the music from scratch. And I'll kind of decide where I'm going to go sample-wise. Some tracks have samples, some don't. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's about the voices here with this music. And you know the experience I had in the studio was just amazing, whereby I'm ready to go through all these tracks with these artists. But you know, for instance, with Beanie Man, he comes in, he heard one track. Yes. 
That was it. It was over. One he take, said, and he's done. One take, and he said, this is the J House sound multiple times, and stamped it, mm -hmm. and that was it. Oh. That's, that's how it started, and that's going to be the first track on the record for sure, because he just put it on the map dude, with me. Uh, uh, with, and, and who are As some... like you are. Thank you. <laughs> and who are some of the others? So, so far, we, I cut tracks with Tessan Chin, which is amazing, uh, Wayne Marshall. Um, the first singles with Ding Dong, we just did that at Romisha Studios Thursday. The others were cut at Big Yard. Mm -hmm. um, coming back here in a week after LA to shoot and direct the video with Ding Dong. Mm -hmm. So we're putting that, that together now. Um, let's see, who else? Uh, Sasko, uh, Bling Dog, um, and then this new kid, uh, Jay Calm. Mm -hmm. This new 18-year-old kid who was in the studio who Wayne Marshall said, that kid, and he, he's amazing. And, uh, and there are some others in the works, and uh, it's, uh, you know, we got another, we got eight done, so I got another 32 tracks to put amazing artists on to do whatever they want to do and bless the tracks, and that's the okay. way we're rolling. But most of those names, those are dancehall names that yes. you've called. They're, yes. Um, are they excited about this? Yeah, it was amazing. Like, everybody was super excited about it, and. And they love the music, and, and you know, like for instance, Tessan had never done a dance track mm -hmm. like before, and she just came in and absolutely killed it, man. Like yes, <laughs> she is unbelievable. Okay, she's, she's so good, man, and, and she's also the first woman to bless this project, which mm -hmm. is uh, I'm so I'm so honored about, you know, and. So, you know, I, and, and like I said, Zach is working his magic and talking to everybody and lining them up. I'm going in the studio, you know, tomorrow night, and who knows who's coming in. Who knows what he's got planned, but I'm sure, you know, the end result will be I will be heading to, to Los Angeles with even more than I thought. Because I thought I was coming here to do three tracks, bro, with vocals, maybe. I'll have the whole, I'm putting out four albums this year, four volumes, ten tracks on each. I'll have the first volume done by the time I leave L.A. I mean, by the time I come back here, you know? So, so by when will you be rocking audiences with J House? Yeah, so the, first, so the first single with Ding Dong will drop in early April, with, along with the video we're about to shoot. And then uh, the first volume of ten tracks with these artists I'm mentioning and others will be uh, May 17th. Mm -hmm. May 17th. Yeah, and then wow. there'll be three more volumes thereafter, one in uh, late June, one in September, and then another one right before, uh, probably right before Christmas. So you're playing to, what size crowd are you playing to? Um, are you talking about live? Live, live oh, I've play, played yes. shows of, you know, 100,000 people, 50,000 people. I played the, cl the best clubs in the world. I mean, I've been doing the, the, this for a long time. Mm -hmm. But I would, I would think that with this music and, you know, the ability that I'll have also to bring these artists on the road to perform yeah. these tracks, man, like, like the shows are going to be crazy. The energy is going to be crazy. Like, and like I said, they're gonna, they're gonna, these Jamaican artists are gonna have a new audience, mm -hmm. and the new audience is gonna find out about these Jamaican artists. So it's, it's a global thing, man. It's yeah. like, you know, because I do believe, and I've said this before in interviews, that I think reggae music is the most important music genre ever, and I think it permeates the world and connects more than any, I think, than any other. It's rooted in other genres. I think it's the most important one. I've said that before, but mm -hmm. I, I really believe that. Ah. Well, Sir Freddie, we thank you, sir, for coming and sharing this. Yeah. We look forward to when we can, we can listen to the entire project. Very soon, uh, at least the first volume, and then we'll more and more. But, but I'm, I'm really excited, and uh, yes. it's a blessing to be able to uh, honor and respect Jamaica like this because it's given me so much love, like on the levels from the first time I came here in 2015 to work with Sly and Robbie, my idols. You know, that's, it all started there, you know, and so uh, that's where we're going. Uh, big up, up, up <laughs> big up and upper. Right? Okay, sir. Up. Well, we'll be tracking, you know, you, as you go up. With the, we go up with together. Jay, we, go, with Jay, we go together. With Jay House, we go together. We go together. <laughs> okay, that's we go right. together. That's right. You know what I mean? And of course, we will want to sample and to have more news on this project. Absolutely. When it's ready and, and out. 
And who knows, we can even have some sampling on our set, right? 100%. OK. No question. We'll figure what? that one out shortly. All right. And um, I want to big up and bless up Zachary Harding yes. for his input in this project, sir. 100. And all, the, and all the congratulations to him, too, for this, right? We wouldn't be here right now if it weren't for him. I uh, mean, yes, the music is its thing, but it, the right guy know, knew exactly what to do here, you know? And <laughs> oh, so yeah. that's, some, that's a beautiful thing, you know? He's well placed in the Jamaican space. But, Let's put it that way. But, you know, you got you to gotta recognize, you know, and he yeah. recognized and, and didn't hesitate. And so that only inspired me to work even more and create yeah. even more. And so that's where we're at. You know a great I mean? guy. Great manager. Yep. Yeah, 100%, man. man. You couldn't ask for a better manager. Nope. Nope. And uh, still to come right here on our stage, Vibes Carter's lead attorney. And he will be asked questions about the next step in the World Bosses saga. And later, Patra, Lady Patra, you don't want to miss that. This episode of On Stage is brought to you in part by LGL Let's Get Loud, Saturday, March 30 at Folly Oval in Portland. For tickets and info, visit their Instagram page or stay tuned to Onstage TV's socials. On Stage with Winford Williams. Scott's lead attorney, Isaac Buchanan, comes to our stage to chat landmark Privy Council win. But what will he tell us about his next move in the World Boss's legal saga? Right now, right here on our stage, the man himself, Isaac Buchanan, who, by the way, is the son of Dancehall Foundation icon, big youth. <laughs> Greetings. He's big youth, yes, for all you. Yes. <laughs> little youth. <laughs> Even though you <laughs> little youth. Even though you're the biggest thing in the world right now, oh, boss. Man. Congratulations, man. Thank you so my much. Friend. Thank you so much. This has got to be your biggest case, your biggest win. It is it, it, in it, law. It, it, it is the biggest win in law, but every time somebody is set free or a conviction is is quashed, it is just as big. Oh wow. Yeah. Where was your confidence level? in taking, on, taking this thing to the, uh, the Privy Council? You know, um, I was determined, like I'm passionate about the Constitution. Yes. Um, the Charter of Rights, the 2011 Charter of Rights is the beginning or the, the starting point to what freedom looks like, what humanity looks like. Mm -hmm. So when you see the man on the street, he's not rich. He, he, he's probably even homeless, yes. but it is the equality the gateway to equality, so people know that even the rich man is no better than the, the, the common man. So I'm, I'm so passionate about that because my existence is a cross section between um, Upper St. Andrew, mm -hmm. respect mommy, and Big Youth. Yes. So there's always a humility to understand that we're, 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 we're brothers and sisters, we're one and the same, and the Constitution um, bridges the gap between that. And, and the more we know that, mm -hmm. the more of us that are, are aware of that is the better for all of us, right. for everyone. Exactly. So, so why is it that sometimes we feel like you don't have no right to defend your own rights? You, you know, um, I'll, I'll say this. We suffer, and many of us suffer from post-traumatic slave disorder okay. or a syndrome. We, we, we have a need to feel like we have to be better than people. Mm -hmm. And in the same breath, we miss the mark that Jamaica is positioned in the world where each and every one of us is so special. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna quote my father now and say, so every nigga is a star. Mm -hmm. So because we know that people is gonna say, you know more than me and forget that, you know, we are equal. So we're not, it, on the other side of it, you're not better than me and I'm not better than you. I don't know that we hear that a lot enough in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I believe that uh, pe some of us think that we're lesser, and others feel like they're better. 
And I take the opportunity to say, if you read the Constitution, I've always said the Constitution, your birth certificate, these are two things. And your Bible mm -hmm. is something you're supposed to get at birth. Yes. We should hand that out at the hospitals so people know their rights and know that you matter. And once you know that you matter, then you can start to treat people equally. But that's the thing that we miss. I, I hope this case is waking us up, all of us. Those who are who know better, mm -hmm. the exploiters, and those who are being exploited, what, who, what? Are, who are not aware of their rights. I don't know that we really know that we have the right. We have the same right as the Prime Minister, as, as a citizen of Jamaica. I, I think we know that. I think it is the Prime Minister who needs to know that. I think it's the state actors who need to know that. And I think that this judgment, this landmark decision by the Privy Council, it's going to take some time for everybody to kind of understand what it really means. Mm -hmm. But it's the beginning of a demonstration of how sacred constitutional rights are. And it is for everybody, even Vibes Cartel, even a national treasure. And, and, and so he's to be given the same treatment as the common man, the no-name man. Mm -hmm. Ju judges are, are the costus morum, the protectors of the constitution. So they don't get the, the leverage sitting in that position as how the court of public opinion who say, I don't like him because he's bleach or I don't like him because he's you know, him famous. They don't get that opportunity. It is the con they're bound by the constitution and they treat it so sacred that they send it back to the Court of Appeal, to our competent judges, to make a decision to, 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 to protect the integrity of our justice system. Mm -hmm. We have competent, brilliant minds in Jamaica. And, and I'm, I, it's sad to say that we had to go to the Privy Council to, 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 to decide. But the greatest thing about it is that the questions that were put to the Privy Council were crafted, written by or judges, and I'm proud of that. Okay. So it's not ISAT's question. Ah. It, is, it is guidance from the court, say this is how you ask it. Now go out there and let us know what happened. So, so we do have the knowledge here. We have the knowledge. We have the expertise When I, when I spoke in the Privy Council, I, I spoke with a mandate from, and I'll say their name, Justice MacDonald Bishop, mm -hmm. the President of the Court of Appeal, Justice Brooks, and Justice Straw, whom, whom, whom they are the teachers for young lawyers like myself. Yeah. And they will tell you that the, the beauty of it is when I'm speaking and I'm not, and I, I'm doing beautiful speaking with no substance, Justice Brooks will say, no, start again. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel no way. They're the ones who are supposed to um, boof me so I can, I, I, can, I can raise the bar to do what um, I would have been able to do before our, our lords in, in, in England, so they are aware that they, we, we have the intellect here. So how did you feel, I mean, making this case to these lords, so to speak? Well, one, I, I'll, I'll start to say I, I felt As proud. As a young lawyer, yeah, a very I, young lawyer. I felt proud, um, but if you know anything about Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, yes. and all the, criti the criticism that comes there because there was a... A, a big conversation as to why would um, cartel take such a chance with a young lawyer. Mm -hmm. and, and so that being able to demonstrate mm -hmm. that um, the, the law is a jealous mistress, so if you know it and if you, if you, if you, do, if you take guidance and, and you listen, you'll be able to articulate. So proud is, 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 is the word that I would use. So where are things now? Where, where are we now with this? Is it, what are you going after? Right? No, I'm going to start by saying we are in the right place. Yes. We're, and, and here's why it is important and why patience matters and why context matters. Because prosecutors in an adversarial system mm -hmm. is supposed to prosecute. Yes. Their side is to, to do justice. So they're going to prosecute for the, the state, yes. defense attorneys, our, 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 our duty is to defend. Mm -hmm. So we obviously will say there should be no retrial. And the prosecutor is going to say she wants a retrial. Mm -hmm. So see you in court because the, the, the court of appeal, well, the, the highest court, the apex court, says our court of appeal is to make a determination. 
And if you are, if you are a citizen of this country, your eyes are now open to the, a great miscarriage of justice that took place. 12, 12 plus years of four young men, their lives, with, with a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. If anybody know where Afrobeats is, you know the potential that Vibes Cartel would have lost mm -hmm. for representing dancehall on the world stage. Um, and, and physical presence is important. Everybody know that's right. what dancehall is. If you're not in the dancehall, you're really not saying, your, your impact is not as much. Mm -hmm. um, health issues. Um, we have missed in this conversation about a, 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 a retrial that the reason the Privy Council heard the matter in record time is because of his health issues. And we, st we are still in that reality. So we're, how we move next is um, the confidence that the competence of the, our Court of Appeal, um, they, they have a mandate now, under, even under the guidance of our Chief Justice, Justice Sykes, to deal with cases swiftly, mm -hmm. expeditiously. Delay is a constitutional violation, and, and so we don't expect that to happen. So that's where we are now. Yes. And how yeah. confident are you that you will, get, you will win again? <laughs> well, uh, yeah. so, so that, and that is it. We have won. Um, put it in context again. Yeah. We have won. So when you say how confident I am, Mr. Palmer is, doesn't have a life sentence. Mm -hmm. Mr. Palmer is not a convict. Mm -hmm. Mr. Palmer can root bright himself. And when I go to visit him yesterday and say, yesterday or yeah, yesterday and say, um, what am a convict lawyer doing? I don't really talk to convicts <laughs> as, a small, as a small joke. Um, yeah. These things are important mm -hmm. when it comes to stigma. And he doesn't have a life sentence over his head. So his stress level is weighed. 35 years is no longer hanging over his head, as in mm -hmm. a sentence down that's gone. Yes. So, so we are excited about that, and where confidence lies is where justice lies. Yes. A, a just outcome will, will, will be that Jamaica will see the day when um, Mr. Palmer walks out of the prison and puts on his Vibes Cartel coat again. And then we st you'll say, um, I said, what about free tickets? And I said, 12 million for Skybox, <laughs> 3 million for Cabana, you know, okay. bleachers, 30 grand. <laughs> but I know a guy, check me for Bandula tickets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what, that, that, so that's where my mind is. Oh, wow. That, and that's... I, I hope the course of appeal is not watching this. But <laughs> <laughs> you get the point. But, but how soon could that come? Could, could a decision come? Well, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that, so make no mistake, the, the court is, the, our court is not sitting idle. Mm -hmm. We're actually waiting on the perfected order from the, the Privy Council. When that happens, then um, they, I am confident that we'll, we will be moving swiftly. Mm -hmm. what, what I won't do is to, in, because this is in the public space, I won't make the mistake and say, next week, mm -hmm. because next week gonna come so quick, mm -hmm. and then they're gonna say, you lie or you did this. So yeah. um, justice rush is justice crushed in this particular okay. situation. We want mature consideration, um, even moving forward for every single citizen of this country. If you're faced with um, a criminal allegation, you're cloaked with the presumption of in innocence, protected by the Constitution, your fair trial right must be respected, due process, all these things need to be revisited, interpreted, and we have serious amendments for our legislation that this case certainly will be uh, a guide to that. And, and so when you ask about winning, yeah, winning right now yes. on that, for, for that. It's like a reset of our justice, our local justice system now? Yes, and I, I'm going to tell you why it is a reset. Um, a reset for a mistake made in 2011. Mm -hmm. What the public needs to know is where our court is, and I say this all the time, the system works, you know. Where, where we are right now, we're so advanced in terms of how the court um, deals with justice. There was a time when you go to court and you didn't have to be ready for trial, but the court is ready before you. I have to yes. wonder if you have COVID or something yes. for why you can't proceed. 
from the defense side or for the prosecution side, we are running out of mistakes to delay matters because the court is so is, is becoming so advanced and taking constitutional rights seriously. Mm -hmm. So what comes out of this is, and I'll say with pride, our constitution is not simply words on a paper. It's a done of all done. Mm -hmm. There's only one done in this country, and it's a constitution. Of course. Mm, so that's a message to all gangs in all forms. One done, constitution. So, so what, what is Cartel say? What, is, what was it like when he... Talk, talk a little bit more about his, his, his mood and his, so what I, does he I, say? I, I, I saw them, and this is a cryptic message, but um, if the gym, gym is somewhere who needs to use the gym, need to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do this to me? <laughs> but listen, apart from that, the, 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 four, four, the four of them, it's not just, it's not just cartel, but the four um, who, who were once appellants, yes. who were right. once convicts, they're, 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 they're excited, they're elated. Um, they are also appreciate, you see this thing called God and time, that mantra, they have met God. They have met God. So anybody think that Vibes Cartel is an atheist or all? He met God. He has seen the face of God. And, and, and that's what these experiences do to people because you anchor your faith on God and you can drown yeah. out the noise. And, and they're happy about that. Wow. Your father, when he spoke, how did he react to all of this? It's for you and for the case? What is he saying? When, what is, when, 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 when I spoke to him, I laugh when you ask me this question. When I spoke to him, his favorite part is when the Lord said, Mr. Buchanan. So he hears his name and that's it for him. Oh. He saw there and then he has another photo where apparently my hand was like this and he was like, yeah, you showed large them out for Bill Spiff, you know? I said, God, so that's big youth. Um, I love my dad mm -hmm. and he's my biggest supporter. He's, he's, he's the reason um, I could pay for law school. So he invested his money there, and I, I, I think I made him proud. Yeah. Well, my friend, I think you've made a dance hall and a music fraternity of Jamaica proud. And I'm happy about that. You have, because <clears throat> he, you, the son of a, a, a legend, a, a, an icon of dance hall, yeah. big youth to come and represent an artist who is behind bars and win at the Privy Council. So when we're talking about looking after our people, looking after our youth, our young people, this is, this is an example of who they can be. And big youth gave us a youngster yeah. who right now is, is resetting the constitution here, the, 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 the justice system in Jamaica. And, and, and is, is, is strengthening justice for all, mm -hmm. which maybe we wouldn't even realize that so much, there's so many things that are wrong with the system if you didn't do what you did, sir. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit more than that and why I, want, why I always speak about um, the God factor. Yes. I, Winfred, I probably would be the worst citizen you'll come across. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I'm saying that publicly, so, yes. so, so for the youths mm -hmm. to understand that the possibilities are endless, yes. mistakes will come. You might fail all your CXCs, mm -hmm. but you still, you still can be the prime minister, you still can be the doctor, you still can be the lawyer. It not, might not happen at the right time. So you can't throw yourself out or cast yourself out you know, with the water. So that's the message. Mm -hmm. That it don't matter where you are from, um, it's where you're going. Yes. And, and God put something in all of us. And is we, we must love each other enough to, to, to nurture that. It takes a village to raise a child. Um, one day, people will see the village that raised me and be um, in awe. Mm -hmm. It come from all, all walks of life, all places. And we just need to pay attention to that so that... Um, I'll be the least among the greats that come out of Jamaica. That's, that's just my hope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you won't be no least. <laughs> you won't be no least, sir. Tell me that now until, until Big U take one a shop. 
<laughs> but, but, Regic, we thank you, sir. All right, thanks for having me, man. Thank you so right. much for coming and sharing with us, Regic. All the very best. We're all proud of you. Those of us who work in the, in the music space, we're proud of you, Bad Bridging, and I think all Jamaica should support and, and, and show respect and be proud of you. All right, but just tell Queen I Freak when you see her, yes. me love KFC and it just now got changed. <laughs> so just, leave, just leave me alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Six piece barbecue. All right, let's stop. Okay, sir. Right. Um, she's, she's watching. Right. <laughs> Queen, you, you heard that? <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you so much. I sat. The board holds that it is not necessary to express a concluded view on the other two grounds of appeal. For these reasons, the appellant's appeals should be allowed. And the next, right here on our stage, Queen Patra. Wow, you're gonna miss that. This episode of On Stage is brought to you in part by LGL Let's Get Loud, Saturday, March 30 at Folly Oval in Portland. For tickets and info, visit their Instagram page or stay tuned to On Stage TV's socials. On stage with Winford Williams. This is where international dance hall recording star Lady Patra unveils her newest music project right here on our stage. Patra. Thank you very much. Bless you. Yes. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much, man. It's good to see you here, although I see you, you know, exercising and stuff, <laughs> which is a beautiful thing. So thanks for having me. Oh, good. Thank you. And yeah. you, beautiful thing. Yeah, man. It's all over you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I do my thing. You know, I love to exercise and stuff and, you know, just keep my mind and my spirit clear. So okay. It's a beautiful thing. So, yeah. So what we're about to see then is some of that clarity in song. Yes, definitely. <laughs> a well, clear this, mind? Yeah, not only a clear mm. mind, but more sensual, you know, because I'm more mature now, obviously. Each year you go, you add a, um, a year to your age and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, getting the opportunity to actually, because you know I've been here before, yes. and stating that, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm ready and ready, ready. But I realize now that I was not fully ready mm -hmm. because I was not in control of many things. So now that I'm in control of my masters mm -hmm. and everything that I'm doing, including even um, stuff that I had in my past, I have all of those stuff pertaining to mass, you know, like uh, publishing and stuff mm -hmm. uh, straightened out. Oh wow! And so now I can feel it. I know I didn't know it was going to take so long when I took a break because a lot of people didn't know, but now that patience has really paid off, okay. and I'm very excited about that part of it. Um, but now that I'm in control and I'm in control of most things, uh, which is like all things musical. I'm excited to share with the world that I'm coming with my new single called Tender Touch, uh -huh. which is coming through VPAL slash VP, you know, so okay. it's a beautiful thing. We're going to jump into it in just a little while. We'll go back mm -hmm. a little bit on this getting control of yeah. your intellectual property. Right. So uh, how difficult? Um, at first, I understood nothing at all. So what happened... Um, I know that I wanted to get things in order. Mm -hmm. um, um, and then someone had reached out to me, which is um, Barry Gordy mm -hmm. from Motown, his son, Kerry Gordy. Yeah. And he, gave, he had given me some information that was very, very important to my career and telling me what steps to take in order to do this. Mm -hmm. And then I've reached out um, to my past manager, specialist then, and. Um, I talked to him and everything, and he said, okay, reach out to Kendall Minter, and let's just have this thing worked out. And I'm happy to say that, you know, for the past couple of years, that was something that has um, been part of what I wanted, mm -hmm. why I took a break and didn't know it was going to take this long, and to know that it was dealt with so diplomatically. I'm very thankful for that. So within another year or two and stuff like that, not only am I in control of all those things that I have, 
but even what I'm working on now, mm -hmm. I've gotten the opportunity to work with some of the, the best producers, I think, out of Jamaica, which I'm soon give them their big up. But most importantly, I get to articulate the way I'm feeling as a woman. Mm -hmm. I'm more mature, the type of music that I want to put out and everything, I've gotten the opportunity to invest in myself mm -hmm. and to make sure that I'm on the track that I want to be on, not something that has been, um, what you would say, came, paved out for me. Mm -hmm. So this is part of my journey. And this song is called Tender Touch. It's about sensuality, love, um, excitement, um, vulnerability, and um, for all of the man them to feel good to know that the queen of the pack is continuing. But it's, so, it's very emotional, but it's very, um, um, how would I express it? It's not just confidence, but it's very, very sensual. I have to say it a hundred times. And the man them going, You're warning me. <laughs> yeah, I'm warning you. And the female okay. as well will be able to, not only love themselves more, but they'll be able to express how they want to express it, mm -hmm. but they can go ahead and express it in a more, you know, sensual way. Mm -hmm. And to, because we need a little bit of that, you know. And um, for me personally, I just think that is one of the single that will express how I feel and how old I am as a woman mm -hmm. and how I feel to make sure that the world gets something of quality, good music. So. Yeah, Tender Touch is all about that, and I love it. All right, so let's take it right here. Tender Touch You know I'm the queen with the magic touch You know I'm the queen with the tender touch That's why them love me so much What's this? Show me sexy on me wrong Some girls are hype up themselves And I go on like them a clown Show them and them love me the whole of them won't come touch me now This is not a game I'm playing I wanna make love with the right feeling They mind the love when it's too brave So just look at the way they treat me out Say life man need to steal This a type of love make them man them want to seal the deal Say yes I know that I'm the queen Say when they come to love and yes I know me are the real sex machine Want to no flex me I don't want no boring love become stress me If you love me good boy you'll never be lonely I'll be you one and only, baby Show me sexy and me wrong Some girls are hype up themselves And I go on like them a clown Show them and them love me The whole of them won't come touch me now This is not a game I'm playing I wanna make love with the right feeling Them and them love me, it's too real So just look at the way they Watch check me out They only want a good man They come in a me life I can hope my body and make me feel right Say me no want a man, watch a tall the while Say me no want no dagger in cause it no feel right Nice and tender, me want it all the time Once my temperature rise, my body dry So baby, take off your clothes And put your naked body on me Ooh, baby, please With the magic touch You know I'm the queen with the tender touch That's why them love me so much You know I'm the queen with the loving touch You know I'm the queen with the magic touch That's why them love me so much Show me sexy and me wrong Some girls are hype up themselves And I go on like them a clown Show them and them love me the whole of them won't come touch me now This is not a game I'm playing I wanna make love with the right feeling Them and them love me, it's too real So just look at the way they check me out Say life magnet to steal This a type of love make them and them want to seal the deal Alright, that's it Patra's tender touch on our stage so much. That's that's so. I, I say it again. I say it again. That is a video. Yes, yes, that's how it is. Sexy. Uh, so, the, so speak more about it. Is, is this a bigger project, a wider project? Most definitely, because it has to do with also an album, mm -hmm. as well. And um, the album is ninety-five percent complete. Yes. And I would like to say it's like eighty percent live. And um, I'm coming up with a name for the album, but I don't want to discuss it yet until after this single is done. But um, it's a big project, you know, and I'm 
doing my thing very slowly. I'm starting off with distribution and singles, mm -hmm. and then now up the ladder, the album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I want to make sure that I don't steer too far away from my culture or my roots, because that's one of the things that back in the day that I always held on to. I always tell people, yo, you don't know, so the girl I'm from Seaview Garden train me, you know. So I have to keep my roots. So I'll, I've always had creative control in how um, I dress and how I dance and do my thing. So I'm very excited about it. And um, Winfred, to tell you the truth, um, after all these years and everything that I've been through, it's the best I've ever felt because I've managed to forgive a whole lot of people. Mm -hmm. And I'm feeling it coming back from... Um, other side and everything, but I'm at peace when it comes to um, whatever um, my musical history was before, yes. and I know what my accomplishment is, and I know that when I decided to take a break from the music industry, it was the right thing to do. Mm. You know, I didn't know it was going to take this long, but I was patient enough to wait, and as I've told you, that road was so rough at times, but there are good people out there, and that's why I say forgiveness is so important. It's not just coming from my side, it's coming from other people's side as well. And the music has changed me a lot. And I knew I was born to do this. So when I did not feel to do it anymore, I feel that I've lost um, every feeling, every emotion, um, how to express myself. I was worried about that. But then you know that I have a restaurant called Chateau 7 Gourmet. Mm -hmm. While I was doing stuff and things like that, it allowed me and teach me how to communicate again back with people. Okay. while I was working things out behind the scene because I was really broken because I'm always um, a loyal person, a down-to-earth person and a person that's willing to take direction, direction and stuff. But there's a way in which that you always wanted to be listened to. Mm -hmm. And those were some of the problems that I've had um, back in the day. And as I said, that um, now that I'm in control of certain things in my life and everything, I don't have to worry about my family anymore. Because I know that if it's something should happen in the future, everything is taken care of. You understand? And th that was some of the things that I, I wanted to look back at as well. But I hold no negative will against anyone because people have invested in me um, back in the day in order to get me to where I am now. So after going through all that turmoil and all that stress, <clears throat> what I did was just unwind and not only take up exercising and all those things, but as I said, I feel so much better now. Because I can see everybody and like, yo, I go on. And uh, you know, I'm talking from the people that I used to associate myself with. Speak a little bit more about the restaurant. Yeah, Where so. it is, what a, Sexy what food, offerings. sexy yes. food. Yeah, well, you know, I used to be up in Stony Hill. Mm -hmm. Now I'm moving down into the mid city, but I'm reopening in the summer. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I go and every minute, even my, my, my customers. So it's kind of weird now because I have to say my customer and then my fans. Mm -hmm. So it's two different things. So when I see my, uh, my customers out there, like, yo, Patrick, we love what you're doing about my warm my food. I tell them summertime. That restaurant, as I've stated, is that it's by accident. I always love to cook and do things. So when it was given to us to, um, to do, I, I knew nothing about jerk. Or anything that time. I know I can cook and I travel the world and I do this and I learn ideas, but I wanted to put my own authentic thing on it. So I just decided to come up with the name Sexy Food. People come there and they laugh and laugh and everything like that, but when they taste it, mm -hmm. they have to come back because it's a very sensual thing about it. So, but it has helped yeah. me in many ways because while I was sorting things out by just talking to people, they, they didn't know this, you know. Because um, at first I was like, oh my God, I need to put myself out there because I wasn't getting the flavor from the people that I hired. I was like, where's this five star? Where is it? So I just go in and I just change the whole thing and it just worked out so fine. I'm oh, really? so thankful for that. Yeah, but yes, it's successful and it's doing what it's doing and it's going to reopen. I even have a cooking show coming, Hot and Sexy Cooking with the Queen, which is covering the whole island and everything about food. But I cannot express enough how that my restaurant has helped me more than anything else in the world, just to communicate with people and not be afraid. Like you just see people one on one and they could call and they put their trust in me to do things. It is an amazing thing. That's the reason why I have to reopen and um, do the cooking show in order to let people see the passion 
you know, about it. The so it's coming. The Patra Passion. Yeah, the Patra Passion, man. And the in the summer, passion. they will be able to see it. To yeah, most definitely. The summer? Yeah, the man. Summer. Yeah, because I want to start in, I kind of like done the pilot and stuff already, but I'm making um, different changes. So I just have to do eight episodes, which will just take like a month and some, some immersing myself in different ideas and stuff like that. So it could be short and sweet. But I have to make sure I go to people you can cook. Because if I come to your house and you can't cook, then I have to cook for you mm -hmm. in order to teach you how to do that. So it's all about sexy food. So, and it's about our culture. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I cannot thank, <laughs> I cannot thank my, my customers enough for helping me to be able to communicate again and trust people. All right. Yeah. And the state of the music, the state of dance hall. Yeah. Give us a comment on it. What's it? What you're seeing now, the women in, at the, on the front line and, and, and how you see that so, as a woman mm -hmm. and how you, when you look at who are out there now, um, those artists, women and men, mm -hmm. but in particular, the women in mm -hmm. dance. So, uh, how do you, how, well, there's a few comments on what you're seeing? Okay. Well, normally I don't go out and make comment because as I said, I've been through so much throughout the years. I've been taking time to rehabilitate myself and stuff. But when I do come upon some things and that, because a lot of, uh, a couple of these younger female artists, they're also following me, me on my page. And people would ask me, what do I think or what suggestion or ideas do I have for anyone? I just think that all these young female that are coming up in the business now is just like me back in the days. Um, when we come from country, come a town, I already have a set image in my head. I know what I want to be, I know how I want to sound, I know how I want to be. So most people are in it and the way they do their things is what they're feeling from day one. But one thing I know for a fact is that it's no longer, no longer a male dominated field. As for the standard of the music and how it is and stuff like that, honestly Winford, occasionally I might hear something. But what I've done throughout the years is try and, I, I don't even watch my own videos and stuff. Sometimes I post it. So what I do, I just stay away from a lot of stuff. But if there's something out there that's catchy and nice, I roll with it. Because as I said, just rehabilitating oneself. Mm -hmm. it's, it's difficult to absorb something else when you know the path that you're really going on. But as a female artist and see the females in what it's a good thing because most of these girls have to feed their family as well. What I would just highly recommend is that people just need to make sure they have their business affair in place and to make sure, you know, so I don't look at this, um, I don't look at the, before I used to look at the, the entertainment and the hype and the whole thing out of it, now I realize is that it's the business part of it. Then the other thing that would be is on top of it. So I don't pay attention too much. I'm like 50. I'm more mature and I just think different now. As I said, I'm just a sensual person. But it does not mean that I wouldn't appreciate what other people are doing. But I don't think about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are you back full time now? Are you <laughs> ready to tour and all of that? Oh, well, yeah, most definitely. I've been doing a lot of stuff. Um, you see, I choose what I do, which I'm very fortunate to be able to that. Um, but it's not just music alone that the Queen is focusing on. It's a lot of big, th big things that are coming out, and I'm very excited about it. I can't talk about it yet, so don't even push it, <laughs> right? But what it does, it actually complements my childhood, because all of the things that I was taught by my mom and my community in Westmoreland, big up Westmoreland and I don't know, is that um, all, those are the tools that I find myself using now. Mm -hmm. to become the woman that I want to be. So it's, uh, I see myself as a brand, you know, the Patra brand, from what we're doing behind the scene now and everything like that. So, so for me, it's just this free, mental mind, very sensual woman. I just don't see the world like I've, you know, I looked at it before. It's a whole different space. Well, it's good to know that you're still in the game, my dear. Yeah. I, well, I will always be in the game as a singer because I was born as a singer. Mm -hmm. But I don't mind trying other things because I'm not, um, what you call it there, I'm not stuck in the moment. Okay. You know, but I will always you're try. You're still moving this. forward. I'm moving forward. You're still ascending. Yes. New projects coming. We look forward to them. Thank you very much. And um, you know where to come back when 
<laughs> You're ready to talk about that. Yes, most definitely. And you know I have to let you know what's going on. And then the next time I come on, I would love to perform and maybe cook your meal. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, different. people do something right. even more sexier, like, you know, like switch it up a bit. Okay. So I can say, okay, I'm going to cook one for that little blah, blah, blah. Then we eat some stuff and then, mm -hmm. All right. yeah. Yeah, let's well, keep it jiggy. <laughs> okay. We are ready. All right. So that's our this segment of our show. Patra. Lady Patra international recording star still at it and that's our show for this week Winford Williams on behalf of all of us thanking you for joining us do join us again next week for more on stage and the love when it's too real so just look at the way they treat me yeah say life's magnet to steal this a type of love make them man them want to see the deal say you son know that I'm the queen so when they come to love and they son know me at the real sex machine want to no flex me me no want no boring love become stress me if you love me good boy you'll never be lonely, I'll be the one and only, baby. Show me sexy and me wrong. Some girls are hype up themselves and I go on like them a clown. Show them and them love me. Then all of them won't come touch me now. This is not a game I'm playing. I want to make love with the right feeling. Them and them love me, it's too real. So just look at the way they treat me out. Show me sexy and me wrong. Some girls are hype up themselves and I go on like them a clown. Show them and them love me. Then all of them won't Come touch me now. Thanks for watching our video. Please click subscribe and be on our stage anywhere, anytime, always.